Hi, I'm Dan Riskin. I'm a bat biologist and an author, and this is my first book for kids. It's called Fiona the Fruit Bat, and it's the story of a baby bat who's finally ready to take her very first flight. But she's scared because it's so dark and she doesn't know if she'll hit something or get lost. And in order to fly, she has to uncover the secret that's hidden inside herself. And it's a story that has been in my head for more than 20 years since the very first time I went to the tropics to see bats for myself. Uh, I was a young grad student. I went to Costa Rica, very first time in the tropics. I uh, went out to this field station in the middle of nowhere. And the very first day I get there, this other grad student says, okay, Dan, welcome. Do you want to go see some bats? I was like, yes. He's like, okay, let's go to the cave. And I'm like, oh yes, this is what I'm here for. So we get in this canoe, we go across the river, we hike this long trail. There's toucans, there's monkeys. I mean, this is the real deal. And we finally get to this cave and I've been expecting this great big room that I'm going to step into and look up and see bats on the ceiling, but it's not like that. It's, it's much smaller. It's this little tiny sort of hole in the rock and you've got to lie down on the ground and stick your head inside it and look up. And so I do that. It's uncomfortable, but I go for it. Um, and when I get my head into that hole and I turn on my headlamp and look up, all of a sudden I am face to face with this one beautiful little fruit bat. She's maybe three, four feet above my head, just hanging from one foot, kind of spinning around and looking down at me. And as she does that, she's got this triangle on her nose. It's called a nose leaf and she's wiggling it. And I know that she's echolocating. She's looking at me with her echolocation. And it was this really intimate moment with this bat. It was exactly what I needed. And that has really stuck with me ever since. And I learned later that that particular species of bat, Corolia, um, has a really interesting development as babies because when they're first born, they don't know how to echolocate. And so their whole world is just what they can hear or what they smell or taste right immediately around them. And then after about four weeks, they discover echolocation. All of a sudden, this baby bat realizes if I make a noise and listen to the echoes, I can perceive the whole world around me. And so their world just jumps from this really tight space to the whole cave and outside the cave. And it's that day, basically, that they first take flight and go explore the world. And so I've always wondered what that moment must be like. I've always thought that must be just really cool for the bat. And so that's what I've tried to bring to life with my book. And I hope that the book resonates with kids. Um, it's got uh, lots of great pictures uh, by Rachel Kigi. I'm so happy with those. And at the end of the book, there's even some information about how kids themselves can learn to echolocate because humans have the ability to echolocate too. We just never use it. So um, anyway, check the book out, Fiona the Fruit Bat, and I hope it works for you too because it's really just my best effort to share my passion for bats with as many kids as possible.